just listen to that new earth being born. Fisher 3 continues to be the dominant of fissures on the northeast rift zone. Its lava fountains constantly throwing molten lava bombs nearly 100 feet into the air. Over time, these bombs cool, and around the base of the fissure, they build up a splatter cone. You can see that right here. So Fissure 3 has produced several lava channels that are winding their way down the volcano. These channels are surrounded by these levees that insulate the lava and keep it fluid and moving brisk downslope. As it cools, it can form black crust at the top in some places. And check this out, those lava channels can branch and weave and rejoin each other in several different places. All this lava heading to that flat saddle area and slowing down. One of the things that could happen is we're pushing lava into that flow front and it's kind of inflating. It's like a bit like a balloon. But if that lava gets too stiff, it's possible that the channel will back up or channels often fail too on these steeper slopes. So then they could have a breakup, but we don't know if it breaks out on the east side of a channel or the west side of a channel. That will really determine where the lava goes. So we can't actually predict or forecast, you know, those kind of breakdowns. A big shout out to USGS for providing those photos and video you just saw in that report. Awesome stuff. So if you like looking at this amazing imagery, just head to our h and digital platforms right now. We have a gallery published right now at this moment of more than 500 viewer submitted photos. They're really cool. Check them out, please. Again, that's at our h and digital platforms. I'm Jonathan Jared Sapi reporting.